Despite all the controversy surrounding the release of The Woman King, it is the number one movie at the box office this weekend. Now, being number one in this box office with what we've seen from Hollywood and the incredibly low, pathetic numbers we've seen over the past few weeks, Kind of like being the tallest midget, but nevertheless, The Woman King reigns supreme. Viola Davis, The Woman King, reigns as number one with $19 million box office opening. This is a movie that costs $50 million to make, needs to make about $125 million worldwide before it thinks about a profit. Yet to be seen whether it will be anywhere close to that. However, what people are talking about, obviously, is the audience reception. Now, if you look on Rotten Tomatoes, looks like nothing's wrong. 99% audience score. That would make this movie better than some of the greatest movies of all time. Yet when you look anywhere else, take a look at Metacritic, 2.9 on Metacritic. The Woman King, now even though they give it a weighted average of 6 out of 10 on IMDb, in reality, if you actually add everything up, it's a 5.2 with a lot of 1 stars. Now, who is that coming from? Is it just those racists out there? That's what a lot of people speculated. The Woman King appears to be getting review bombed right now, almost certainly by racist assholes. It's all the way down to 4.2. Do you think this type of thing hurts the movie's box office? Well, lo and behold, the massive, massive backlash for The Woman King isn't from all these racist people. It's actually from the black community right now. If you look at the trend, hashtag boycott Woman King, which has been going for days now, you will see a lot of people that are coming out and saying, this is disrespectful to my people. You're trying to tell a story that these people were the good guys when in reality, the tribe that they're talking about, the warriors that they were talking about, enslaved a ton of African people and sold them into the slave trade. These are just the top things on the boycott woman king trend for me right now you have marcus viola davis demands everyone see the movie because dark-skinned women are in it the fact that the dahomey tribe was some of the largest slave traders doesn't seem to matter boycott woman king there's bro tech boycott woman king and encourage the teaching of real history of slavery in school the woman king fans looking up history of the dahomey kingdom they certainly were in for a surprise when they realized just the type of nefarious things that they did, the atrocities that the women who are the protagonists in this movie, what actually happened. Uh, I will boycott the Woman King movie. Never forget is not a slogan. It's a call for action from the ancestors. You can't repackage the Dahomey Kingdom whose economy was built on slave trading and expect support from the children of the enslaved. Here's Lupita Nyong'o. Now, I'm probably going to do a whole video just on that because she is someone who is supposed to be a part of this movie. She was supposed to be a part of this movie when it got announced Viola Davis and Lupita Nyong'o to play mother and daughter in The Woman King. Well, she left this project and it's because she found out about all the atrocities committed by the people that she was supposed to be portraying. Uh, Earl Landix, my people, we have no reason to support this film. Let it fail. They're not heroes. They're the villains. Uh, what else do we have? I can't even feel bad for Viola Davis. Lupita turned down the role. Why couldn't Viola? Hashtag boycott Woman King. I'm going to bookmark that. This woman is not a champion of cash reparations for black Americans who descended from slavery. She is a champion for African slave traders. Another one, hashtag boycott woman king. It does not accurately portray the history and it's only meant to further uh, promote propaganda about black women and black men. Now you have finally a white woman in the thread shows up. Don't know what the fuck y'all on, but I will absolutely be supporting John Boyega and Viola Davis. Hashtag boycott woman king. Well, that white person is arguing with the black community right now. That's what the fuck they're on. It's people that are seeing things being misrepresented and they're not happy about it. Holy shit. Look at this one. Hollywood has played in the face of descendants of slaves for far too long. Now they're glorifying African slave traders and showcasing their blacks in blackface. Holy shit. Like, that's what I'm saying. The backlash for this it's not from oh it's all the racist white donald trump supporters that's not where this is coming from that's not where this energy is coming from right now it is coming from people in the black community that are saying this is a misrepresentation of what's going on right now and i'm not going to support it we'll see what it does in the box office again number one with 19 million that's not a really good number at all 19 million is Kind of laughable that that's number one at the box office right now, but it's just been a pathetic box office. People really aren't just going to go out there for everything Hollywood throws out. To put it in some type of comparison, when you look at the, the movie Nope that was released a couple months ago, that did $166 million at the box office, right? 
It opened a $44 million opening weekend, more than double what this movie opened up to. This movie needs to make it to 125 to be profitable. We'll see if that happens. But right now, I don't think the backlash is over for, for Viola Davis and The Woman King. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.